Greetings. It's time for another review. And this time it's a Team Yankee or in celebration of 4th of July. Might as well just pop this out. My US Modern Army. So roll that intro, please. As you can see here, this is my US military um, force for Team Yankee from Battlefront. And this is my current US military collection. And these are the units that I have for my army list, but I have more that has been unassembled. And I am. Um, gonna be working on more of them but at the moment I'm working on the Soviets but this is my um, current US force for Team Yankee and these are my M1 Abrams platoon these are the most of them are from the early types and and uh, improved versions and even the camo schemes are from the old um, Murdoch I believe but um, this is basically the old camo scheme that's be was gonna be face out before they switch to the woodland. And here is the woodland with the <coughs> the infantry aboard their M1 M113 platoon. This probably in the middle is a scout for the artillery spotters, and you can form a fist team if I have to. But here are the um, bads to anti-air and anti-tank vehicles and over there are my current artillery for them is uh, mortars mobile mortars for the mm-113 and I know some guy out there wants to name the mm-113 the Gavin and added some wings you can um, watch laser Spikes videos Mike Sparks wants to change that to the Gavin the best vehicle ever but anyway, and here are some Cobra attack helicopters. See, this is the one I have. Um, I kind of put the long stand at the moment because I don't know where I put the shorter stands for the flight stands, but it's there. And as you can see in here, what they can act as a support. I do have the A10s. I don't know if it's a resin, but or the plastic. They come in plastics now these days to try and face out the Russians, but they're still around. And I'll add some 810 and some paladins in here. Plus, I still have some old units from the starter set, the two-player starter set for Team Yankee, the tanks. Um, I can have some Bradleys on them for Scout, and there's another starter set that's going to be uh, released soon. Maybe this later this year. It's the one with the um, four Bradleys and some more a Abrams and some infantry, the plastic um, infantry stand because they are getting rid of the plastic metals on some of them. But uh, so like they did with the Soviets, they have the plastic infantry. So yeah, at the moment I am assembling my Soviets. I just recently assembled the Shilkas for them for anti-air and. I'm about to prime the prime them along with the BMP2s. So this is uh, we'll eventually probably get a battle report for this game again from uh, around before the end of the year. I'll see if I can get me a battle report against the Soviets. So this is the force. I might add more stuff in here and uh, more units because I have enough for Team Yankee. So this is my um. Somewhat of a short review for Team Yankee for a short case army. And mostly I put them aside because I was working on my um, oil wars faction like the Iraqis and Iranians. I decided to concentrate on those many years ago. Um, so that was the army I had for um, I had to put them I had to put this aside when I was working on this when I saw that one many years ago. 
and now I'm continuing slowly over the years and I'm debating if I want to get another force but there's so many force this is one thing I love about this um Battlefront stuff is they're in the cheap cheap all the time they're they're one of the most reasonable price you can have as a military force and the scales I love them so if you ever had a chance and have a um, want to try this thing out you can you can play the World War II version and the Team Yankee for modern it's gonna set somewhere around the night late 1980s that's part the timeline now I hope they have an Asian front of the PLA the Japan South Korea North Korea all the Asian countries in there too so like the Philippines so we will see in the near future if they ever do release it but this is my U.S. forces, and I hope you enjoy uh, American Fourth uh, of July's birthday. So Fourth of July. So Deleon France sixty. Happy war gaming, everybody.